Hello everybody, this is Bryce Zender here, and welcome to uh, another episode of Don't Starve Shipwrecked with an entirely new character from this DLC. Oh, I got my own backpack. That's cool. So anyway, we're playing Marley, the culinarian, and I was interested in this guy because he has uh, his own crock pot, and you can place it down. I like the sound this guy makes. So, I do like the music this guy makes. What was up there? I saw something. Oh, it's just a pig. So, as you know, we got killed by some more monsters. I'm still kind of peeved about that because it was going so well. If I killed them one at a time, uh, I would have won. I might have also won. There might be a damage reduction when you're in a boat. Got away. Yeah, I don't have the resources to dig that guy out. So we're going to need four of these. Lots of seashells. Okay. Okay, I should have enough. It says he has a refined palate. I don't know what that means. Maybe you have to refine foods? Maybe it has to be anything made in a crock pot. So pretty much with this character, I think anything that makes food is going to be a benefit. I think I got complacent last episode because I was messing with, uh, that, um, the science machine for it. Go ahead and get a machete.
This island is nothing spectacular. Oh jeez, lag. What the hell was that? Dinner hour approaches. <laughs> I'm gonna build a raft. It lasts a bit longer. I think I can. Every time I see a green mushroom, we should probably harvest it. have to make a log raft but first let's go and make a campfire So I think we have to make stuff in the crock pot to survive. It's just as I suspected. That's going to be difficult. I know a few recipes with this, but... Show some random stuff in. Let's see if this makes something. Probably gonna get white goop. It's taking a bit. Might be ratatouille. Oh, we got fistful of berries. There we go. Let's pick this guy up. can create another one. Oh, well, we're look going for a log raft. A Balfin Palace. Chipper fellows. The first thing I did when I saw it, I tried to cut it to pieces. <laughs> this is an interesting character so far. Let's go 
there. So having a coral reef next to it would be a huge benefit. Trawling would also be helpful, I think, among other things. I wonder what he says when he hits a wave. I want to try and hit one. Nothing? I mean, yes, it's. I've been lightly spritzed. <laughs> I don't even know what that means. I might have to look it up. Ooh. This tar down there. I need to be water soluble. I was trying to check out the time, so then I got reckless. There's just sea traps you can make, and there's also a sea wall you can build. I wonder if that blocks out waves. So maybe we can create paths between islands? That'd be pretty neat. Ooh, this might lead me to land. There it did. It's over here. Land ho, as they say. <laughs> Another shallow reef. I want to collect a lot of these because you can get pickaxe. I don't think this is the island I want to stay on. Let's get 20 of these. Oh, a pirate hat. Oh, Jesus, my inventory is completely full. Let's go and drop these. God, why does it drop it one at a time? That's just dumb. Okay, I'm trying to look for what to drop. Okay, seeds most likely. Let's take off the pirate hat. That probably is a good sanity restoration. It's probably the top hat from the games. Oh wow. There's lots of good stuff here. Problem is, I don't really have the space to carry it. I'll probably make some. Okay. Let's put it down. I what if I place four seaweed in here? That's probably Ratatouille. Mm 
Because I think seaweed counts as a vegetable. Yep, I was right. Ratatouille. So, what else should I try and make? That's probably going to get me a fistful of berries. I want to save that to when I get meat. Let's try it. I'm thinking fistful of berries right here. There's at least we'll get those. Yeah, yeah, that's fistful of berries. Looks like coconut counts as a fruit. I prefer some variety. Great, we're gonna to have a variety. I'm not a huge fan of that. Um. Okay, let's not forget this. I have to go remember this place to go and grab some stuff from it. This guy might have an even more select palette than the than the cryptozoologist guy who had a weak stomach. Oh, I love this biome. I haven't found a volcano yet. There's apparently a volcano. This is like kind of a magma still or something. Let's go explore this place. Gold! I can always count on this place to give me gold. Okay. Um, I don't know. Okay. We got some gold up. Oh, spiders! This is great. Two spider nets. Hmm. Double the output, I guess. So I think setting up here is probably a good idea. Oh, I would like... Uh, is that coral reef that far? Not really. So... It's just a little bit of a journey. We're going to need five, I think, for the lightning rod. Got three so far. So much stone. some muscles right off the beach here. I 
I'm thinking of down the closest to the coral reef. It's probably a good spot to set up camp. I can always move. I wonder what's beyond that. And we should have enough to set up a... Yeah, we do. Sorry, if you hear talking, uh, that's actually the vacuum is kind of... We have like a automatic vacuum that goes around the house and uh, it's like having issues right now. <laughs> There we go. Might have been a best placement, but oh well. How close am I right now? Well, my boat's right there. Yep, that's good enough. It's a bit of a trek. Portable crock pot. Need to refine some cut stone. Lightning rod. There we go. I'm getting hungry. Just throw a bunch of stuff in here, see if it come up with something good. I wasted a lot of food if I did. It's taking a while, so I think it's, we're gonna make something with that. Shoot. Oh! Ratatouille, I was hoping for that. We're going to need some different types of food. Let's go around and see if there's some wood here. I mean, I can use other stuff. Oh! What the hell is that? You can always use the net other island for wood. I think there's just stone here and no wood. Hmm. I can go to the, it looks like I have to go to the other island for wood. We could probably move somewhere else, but this is good for now. They won't be able to plant anything here. I'm kind of saving the eggs for meat unless they spoil. Eh, yeah, they're gonna spoil before then. Oh, my structures. Let's go ahead and build a chest. Okay, we're going to need wood. Damn it. It's not what I wanted.
if you can put row in the crock pot. We could potentially place some, uh, but I don't have enough. Uh, there's where I need to dig the shovel, put the shovel. Yeah, this world is not exactly amazing. And, uh, I swear I made an axe, I think it might have broke. I need to build some armor and get a fishing rod soon. If I'm going to survive. So what I assume is the more you eat a single type of food, the less valuable it is for food and eventually you'll lose sanity. Can't really afford to keep going well. I don't have much to eat. I need a fishing rod if I am going to survive. Like I'm set already. Um, okay, so we're going to need to kill some spiders.
I assume we get the bioluminescence from a trawling. Okay. Okay, so getting food for this character is kind of difficult. <laughs> I suppose it's a drawback for getting being able to get any muscles would be would be nice too. Can we add row to a crock pot? Yeah, we can. Hungry. Oh, give me some good out of that. Meatballs would be nice. I don't know what row count says. I guess we'll find out. It counts as a meat. Okay, we'll live one more night. Oh, uh, okay. Let's go ahead and store some stuff. Okay, so let's get this out. We're gonna need seaweed though. So let's go ahead and kill some spiders tomorrow. Um, we're going to need to go down and harvest some more. We're gonna need more grass. I could use my machete. We'll go out and kill some spiders. Give me some silk. Damn it. Luckily, fires can't attack if you do that. Um. Okay. Got tons of stuff for food. Hopefully we just need a science machine for it. Okay, we need a fishing rod and uh Survival fishing rod. Okay. Don't really have anything to combine it with the rock pot just yet.
Okay, we got a decent amount of grass, we just need to find it on this island. Then uh, we'll make another boat and then tomorrow we'll go fishing. We'll have to go hunting for some seaweed uh, and uh, generally general stuff like that. Oh, but looks like we're way out of time. So, anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed. This is Bryce's Ender signing out. See you guys later. Bye.